Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Before I start, I would like to uh, bring out some uh, my concern and my opinion. As you know, we have huge and big company in the imaging system, including Philips, Siemens, GE, and so on. And I am wondering how those big companies that they make ton of the monies, they haven't or they didn't or they couldn't prepare a simple, easy clip for, for the users that they use their machine. Even though they have uh, some manual user, hard copy or software in their website, but funny thing is that they don't give to everyone, just the customer. And if you haven't bought that machine, you don't have access to that. That is very ironic and funny. Anyway, even they deserve, I emphasize, they deserve, they play a major roles in the healthcare system, but that is not fair. For the same reason, I made decision that uh, create this group of the lectures and uh, be accessible to everyone, public, free, you don't need to be a member. And just give me a favor, if you thought it was 100% useful, 100%, not a little. Give me a favor and share it and don't forget put comment. If you have any question, don't hesitate, ask even simple easy question don't worry i will response check them very fast and response as soon as possible and if needed as you noticed i prepare a clips and put it there and uh, another one is that since we have different machine they have a little difference so i prepare different group for each machines and each machines we, we will have different clips for any modality one of them for this one 2d color and mode all doppler another one will be only allocate for the strain another for the tee another for 3d and for each of those machine the same way so be a little patient little by little but very soon i try to upload all of them and the last one if you haven't uh, already check it go check these three clips they will be very useful if you put everything together now let's go and uh, for the our first sessions since i am assuming most of you know that this machine just i am going to shortly review some important uh, tips i give you about those machines uh, epics as you know here we have a three-part control panel uh, touch screen and monitor that doesn't show here the control panel is very important as you can see here we have uh, some arrange that uh, we use those modality uh, 2d color everything is here next to the trackball and then we have those other option that i am going to explain before i go there let's see some uh, function of the machine here as you can see this is a step plate it has a three level running that is top go up then middle that is steer and the bottom top uh, completely down is locking state on the running top one is just when you want to move machine straight almost and not very curving suddenly for steering especially those when you are in the patient room you want to adjust this steer is the same so you move left right and make it easy so the, those will become steer easy to maneuver the machine and finally lock you have to remember that for uh, here we have control panel at the handle there is a bottom here we can press it and in that case, we can turn the control panel left or right or move up and down. That is very important. This knob function is only functioning that your machine is at the lock state. So you have to push down, then you adjust your control panel up, down, left and right. Here we have 
control panel as you can see we have many option here track ball there are two uh, bottom as you can see this one and this one left and right most of the time both of them have the same function as a save or a, not save enter it looks like the left click on the mouse exactly so when you want to measure something you press measurement then you want to spot uh, select the spot for measuring that spot you press one of them it said uh, enter and then the other move it trackball then when you are at this uh, dimension and you are pointing then press again one of them it uh, function is enter that those two function remember but in some situation the function of the enter button on the left side and right side is a little different the most important differences i want to mention here is on the imaging especially for the systolic and diastolic when you get it good image for example you are on plaques or apical and you want to measure the diastolic and systolic those measure simpson or on the plaques for example ivs and lvid the diastolic systolic you want to measure in two times in diastolic and in systolic when you got your image clips two or three bits on any of them and you freeze it then if you click before, before anything just you freeze it if you click right side this right enter it machine automatically show on the monitor to state of that view that you got it systolic and diastolic next to each other so you can measure both of them at the same image same frame so it's very uh, convenient to do that this function especially if the, you have good image and patient doesn't have arrhythmia this function is very useful and saving time and uh, very convenient you will like it try it so when you got it for example plaques or apical four or two you can, when you freeze it then when you freeze it after freeze just press right bottom enter bottom it gives you two image two frame next to each other at end systolic and end diastolic and then you measure those whatever you want to measure it here those knob as you can see those uh, modality knob here just above the trackball and you can see we have uh, continuous doppler pulse doppler 2d color and here is 3d if you have 3d pro as if you notice those knobs that we have here those uh, knobs have function bottom and knobs means you can press it become active or change the whatever is in that uh, about that we are i'm going to talk about or decrease it or increase it with twisting so they have two function one of them is pressing that active that modality here if you press 2d 2d active if you press pulse pulse wave doppler will be active when it become active it light up uh, become usually is yellow so light up if you continuous this become a light like this become yellow so means your continuous wave is active we twist in less uh, contact clockwise all the knob function is the same contact clockwise decrease whatever it is for example here is continuous your doppler when you twist it uh, contact clockwise the spectrum decreased become weaker if you clockwise turn it clockwise it increase the doppler the same on pulse doppler the same for the color so if you press this color button it light it up show the color based on that if you turn it counterclockwise decrease the color intensity or if you clockwise increase the color so remember those knob how it function the same knobs for the touch screen those are uh, top row of the knobs belong to the those function on the touch screen whatever is about them for example here you can see belong to that this one belong to that those activity that are 
active and you can do and change or anything those knob become highlight and turn on light for example on this row you can see depending what uh, condition we are this two knobs doesn't function means doesn't do anything just these uh, five uh, knobs that has been uh, light lightening so you can change or do whatever they are allocated for another one i want to mention is this bottom at the middle about the trackball this is for update the function is update for example you are scanning color and you are doing doppler continue suddenly you don't see a strong doppler you want to see if you lost it the window or not instead of the go back into the 2d again color and then repeat those stuff you just press this bottom it update on monitor the color and show you 2d color and you if you need maneuver adjust it cares or anything you can do that way then press the update this bottom again then get it at that last adjust whatever you did it will start getting uh, that function that you are continuous or parse doubler doesn't matter the left click here for the those doppler to the uh, parse doppler continuous doppler big active the cursor of the doppler you, if you press it it uh, become active and you can turn the cursor left right whatever with the trackball that is the function of the trackball around the, around the trackball those bottom one two three middle update the other left and right is enter except that in some modality left bottom and right bottom has a little different function very sometime one of them was those systolic and diastolic imaging here the same uh, things uh, goes to those knobs we have at the around that uh, trackball as you can see measurement here we have keyboard for the typing here for erasing cross and arrow here we have eye scan then we have acquire or requisition or saving image usually and then freeze button whenever you click any of them become active they light it up yellow means you are at that bottom don't forget when you are doing uh, for example color suddenly you press measure your image become freeze and goes to the measurement and give you option for measuring whatever it is so always be aware of that here you can see this knobs or bottom doesn't light up so means this is 3d so it means that your 3d is not active here or you don't have probe 3d probe those was uh, those function for those i'm going to talk about little by little each of them how you use it here we have depth and focus next to each other there is the third accord at uh, a second accord bottom that is for external we usually don't use unless there is another gadget you want to acquire and save in that gadget here so we this is our saving or acquiring or requisition for the image or video doesn't matter whatever we are there now let's go for the next step here i forgot to mention about that those two knob uh, one of them power and another this moon or standby the difference between them is in uh, this uh, power uh, uh, logo it you shut it down or turn it on turn it on and turn it off you use this button when you is on or is off you press it it start uh, uploading and system uh, come up it take a little time sometime minute minutes two three minutes depending how your system is up to date and how much heavy software it has the standby button make it that the level like this exactly sleeping mode in the computer so most of the those uh, program is ready to go just machine is on the sleeping mode so during day if you want to stay for a long time for example you go want to take lunch dinner something like that you can put it 
understand by but at the night is better shut it down that is difference uh, between a standby and shut down or turn off the machine another i would like to mention here is freeze button the freeze button when you don't, you don't use the machine is waiting for patient and you don't use it if the machine is not at the freeze uh, state it mean you didn't press the freeze or you didn't push the on the screen patient for example on the screen you press patient it come up the list of the patient or uh, the patient is that in those situation machine the transducer will not produce any sound wave means transducer is sleeping doesn't functioning at that moment otherwise if it's not on freeze or there is not any uh, patient on the mode or any other knob support or any other means machine and transducer functioning continuously and it decreases the shelf time of the transducer. So it's, it's fair uh, when we don't use machine, press the freeze button or uh, press the patient button uh, in that time. It is is this fair we save uh, instrument because you know the probe is very expensive 10 to 15 thousand dollar one probe when you want to start an exam the first thing after turning on the machine is you want to select the patient which patient you press the bottom patient button here and then machine give you a list of the patient if it's not there you can put manual or search if you are working in the system that connected to the patient handling software automatically when they check in the patient uh, pop up and upload to the machine if not you use manually and put a patient information data or you can search in those box based on the date based on the name or based on the MRN number you can search the patient and select the patient when you select it uh, you select the patient this pop up and then if you press 2d machine start uh, go to the mode of 2d here we have the control panel uh, touch screen at the main page as you can see we have many menu here patient those as you can see here we have uh, usually five suck uh, box here one two three those are represent that how uh, what what probe or transducer connected to the machine for example these two socket are free and this machine at the, this moment has three probe connected one of them is s51 another is x51 uh, and the this pedoff this is the pedoff continuous C, CWC. The, this is the pedoff. So, and the one that is highlighted, as you can see here, is active. So, how you know this is active or not? Just you want to change the probe, just select one of them. If you want to do X, X5, click, click on that, it becomes highlighted. If you want to use this probe, click on that, or pedoff, click on that. That is selection of the probe, first of all. Second, here we have other uh, menu here. We have review. We are at the middle study, the doctor or anything. We want to see those images, just fast review. You can click that one and lay out one or four image or two image for each monitor. Uh, you can set it up. We have report, give whatever measurement you had it. You can go there and give you option for edit if you want to delete or make sure you got it any all in uh, measurement or not you just press this one you don't need to go to the image see which one you got it just press the report and you can go and see which measurement you missed or you want to change it or adjust it edit it you can do through that one here we have keyboard keyboard we have two function you can use this one pop up keyboard and the touch screen you can type through through the touch screen or you go to the clip uh, the keyboard under the control panel 
on the control panel there is a sl slight slit uh, you plate that you push it in forward it release and you can pull back out you can type on the keyboard or no just press this keyboard uh, the pop up the keyboard pop up here you can type it on the touch screen and here the last one that uh, sometime uh, we forget and we have to end it otherwise it doesn't transport the study to the pack system is end exam End exam on the epic is here at the top usually at the right even we can adjust on the system but usually it's default the same way as you can see here then we have here 2d you can see 2d is active yeah protocol and utility now let's go after you select it and select the probe what is the next step after selecting the patient or inserting data of the patient information of patient manually or by selecting we go click on the probe that we use for our study each probe has uh, some default as a setup and what type of study can do for example here we have x5 uh, one we have this uh, probe we can use for pediatric for abdominal vascular or transcranial and beside of that we can set up our optimizing uh, image saving and all other uh setting up our machine we can save it and put it in uh, different setting uh, menu here you can see for example uh, based on th those type of study it can uh, we we can put it our name for example here i set it up machine based on the my uh, judgment and all those practice i told this setup is better for my starting my study anyway you go and select if there is not you can add on a setup how you can add on i will show you later just a moment you, you select what type and what setup you want it usually if you have colleague you can ask them each of those is uh, better for for example very heavy copd for example they recommend go echo pen that's penetration usually means has been set up low frequency dose x resolution and other optimizing that later i'm talking about that is better we use this one if not you go factory or default and then you set it and optimizing your image based on whatever you see that go we go little by little after uh, selecting the setup and type of study we go start pressing 2d and start our scanning after selecting the probe and type of the study and press it selecting press it we go hit the 2d and machine starts show the uh, ready is for a scanning on monitor you will see depending if, if you use probe on the chest or not you will see something on the touch screen the usually the second uh, page of the that uh, 2d will show up each machine a touch screen at 2d for each of those modality 2d 3 uh, 3d uh, m mode color each of those modality has different uh, number of the page on touch screen for example on this one has it show us we are on 2d and we have three page we can sweep it to the right or left and go to the next page or previous page and all set up for that specific type of modality will be found in those pages is all of them adjustable what uh, at the page first page what should should be what option should be all of them are adjustable second page and third page is dependent the customer and the pay, uh, customer requirement and uh, the setup that it tech uh, set it up those pages the arrangement usually is a standard but it don't be uh, surprised uh, each machine maybe have different 
set up for those parameter and option here generally at the second page that is here you can see highlighted second page on 2d we have this option it show you the first step before we start capturing and scanning is we have to make decision that how long and what how a machine capture our clip one of them is the type of the capturing is that bits based on the bits capture or based on the time second here you can see it show at the bottom we set it uh, we selected based on the bits and how many bits two bits so when we acquire machine acquire two bits on this type of the study if we hit this one it changed to the time then with this uh, part bottom there is a knob below that option here this row below that one you can see we can turn it right or left increase or decrease if it's bits increase or decrease if it's time make it one second two second and so on so that is the first thing we have to determine how we can how long we capture our clips what is the best way is time is better or bits is better depending of the rhythm of the heart and uh, speed of the heart rate generally if it's the low heart rate bradycardia in that case we better use uh, beats or we can use time but we have to increase time for uh, three seconds instead of two the general rules is that we have to capture at least two complete and good uh, cardiac cycle at least in those tachycardia is better we capture more so in those tachycardia 110 is better we uh, set up an acquire based on the time two or three seconds not two bits that is for our uh, length of the capturing clips image doesn't have because the image is freeze image one frame for the how uh, we asked the machine or set up machine order that how you want to capture after we hit the acquire or before whatever we set it up it capture we have two options type of the capture prospective and retrospective in prospective when we hit the acquire button machine start acquiring the image right after that moment that we hit the acquire if uh, we set up based on the bits for example here two bits when you hit it start at that moment capture images uh, clips for two bits if you make it three bits you have to hold steady your hand and image and machine start capturing for two or three whatever we set it up so it's very important for prospective keep in your mind you have to hold from that moment your image constant persistent without changing the retrospective it acquire whatever it was before you hit the acquire so if you for example you are good you see some image good beating one two bits it was good then you acquire it is start acquiring those two bits that before you hit the acquire that is different between them there is a, an option here on the utility you can go set it up on configuration you make it a option we call preview before capturing what does mean preview before capturing if you hit that one machine before uh, capture and save the clips it show again uh, those clips that has been captured so when you hit it after a few seconds it is start replaying those uh, captured that has been those uh, clip that has been captured it show replay if you like it you press again acquire one more time then it save it otherwise you repeat it again then for the retrospective you don't need to that option uh, you can do it but you don't need it if you saw there was two or three before was very nice and good whatever you were looking for just acquire it it capture 
the other three. Generally speaking, retrospective is better if you have good memory for before uh, those images that passed two or three bits before. If you have good memory, re uh, retrospective is better. Prospective is in those situations that we need to see uh, changes like the sweeping or uh, for the bubble test, all those stuff that we need to see, follow up and see how much changes. Prospective is better, but it's up to you uh, how you uh, handle your memory and your hand functioning and imaging. Prospective, the problem with prospective is that you are not sure what is the next when you hit the aquar, you are not sure how the image will be because the heartbeats breathing all of them affect if the image is constant yes prospective is good idea otherwise prospective is really hard unless you use the preview make sure that you have good images that is uh, differences between prospective and retrospective and length of door capture after uh, we set up our lens and type of capturing, we have to see and set up our EKG. Echo without e and good EKG is pointless almost because many cardiac events related to the cardiac, uh, uh, cardiac electrical activity. So we have to have a good PQRS T complex for making especially those sophisticated cases is very critical there are uh, again is depending of the how the machine has been set up in some machine on the second page you have an option on ekg you can see it show here for example lead two you can press it lead one and press again lead three dependent uh, so you can change the lead and get it good QRS complex. That is very important. The connecting of the electrode, those three, red, black, and white, where we have to connect it, left arm, right arm, right side, left side, belly, they are not important. The most important that you have to get it strong uh, electrical activity first. Second, do you connect it to the chest wall and abdomen or right upper or left upper quadrant that in those situations we need respiratory variation we have respiratory variation too because if you connect it electrode on the arm or uh, shoulder in that case most probably the machine will not be sensitive for respir uh, detecting respiration movement that is the most important and having good EKG. Just click in change, but uh, if but for setting up completely EKG, we have to go to the utility. We hit the utility, then it show us uh, here. When you hit the utility, it show us this option you can see here. Physiology, DVR, system, and Customization. Here we hit the physiology. On physiology, we have many options. For EKG, here you can see we have EKG. First of all, the type, what uh, uh, what lead we are capturing right now. For example, two, we can click it, make it different, one or three, and based on the bits it acquire. We can invert it EKG if it was R down. We can invert it, make it up. And the velocity speed of the R EKG. And another important is here, as you can see, EKG, internal and external. Internal, when we use our, prov our, the, our electrode connected to the machine uh, output port to that machine, so we call it internal. In those cases that we use EKG from external uh, gadget or instrument, for example, stress echo, because that EKG connected to the patient, then we use that EKG from the other machine that is EKG machine, we connect it to that one. In that case, if we want 
have it those EKG, we have to change it to the external. Don't forget it for stress echo, you have to change this one to the external. Here, another option is very important is respiration. Don't forget, utility, physiology, one of them is EKG for setting up EKG, and another respiration here. Here on EKG, you can have three options. You have three options here. Loop of the length, how many bits or cardiac cycle. Here is gain. If it's very low, you can increase it. Gain increase it, make it taller, more clear. And another EKG position. Those not below those uh, three options, you can change it all of them that is another and here respiratory variation for respiratory variation respiration is off for checking respiration respiratory variation we click touch here it become on and it show our respiration activity on the monitor now let's go to our most important part of our topic how we optimize and what those options and knobs are and what the, uh, what are those function. Let's go first start with the 2D. When we hit the 2D and start scanning, on the touch screen, usually second page show up, but just again, I emphasize. For each of those modality, we have different page and different setup. Depending how we adjust it, set it up, and based on the company and IT, and based on your requirement, it can be different. Two page, three page. In each page, which option will be the first? Those are adjustable. This is general. For example, in this case, and depending on the probe too, what type of the probe, those setup will be a little different, those options. For example, on this one, we are on the probe here, as you can see, 5S1. And here, you can see we have three page. And on the second page, those options we have. Chroma map, image boost, and harmonic. And we don't have here uh, other uh, important stuff. Later we go. But in this one, this machine, we have different. First of all, this is X51, that is the 3D uh, probe. So not only beside of 2D, we have those options. We have 3D option too. You can see X plane, 3D zoom, and full volume. But generally, it's the same. This one, for example, on this case, we have uh, four options for optimizing image, one of them, that this uh, at the second page show up. Chroma map, gray map, and X-res, or X-resolution, or speckle reduction. We talk about that. Just keep in your mind. And for other option, we have to sweep it to the left and right and see the other option too. Now let's go first for this uh, four. We start with harmonic. As I mentioned, harmonic generally in echo, we use harmonic. Harmonic is on. Rarely in some case challenging, you can try turn it off. The other one is chroma map. When we hit the chroma map, it gives us some option that, uh, because as a default, usually is gray scale our image, but we can change the color. And it gives us many options when you hit the chroma map. It gives us this option of slate. They ch newly, this new version, a little change. I like it, or old version that it was silver instead of the slave slate. Silver was much better, but anyway. And we have wheat. Sepia, they are different color. They are not only different color, a little the quality of image will be different, not only just changing the color. And generally, when we use this changing, 
is most of the time is based on the wall motion abnormality and especially when we use uh, contrast it's not bad idea try it different chroma map that is first second is gray map the gray map is very really important many tech they forget when you hit the gray map it gives you five options one two three four five they have different spectra of gray not only different spectrum of the gray resolution among them a little different they have they use different technique for each of those options just try generally two or three is the best that is generally but when you're scanning just play with this uh, option and select each of them one by one and watch the image see which one is the best work for you better quality image in some view and some window maybe two is better in some view and some window three or four you have to play with them and see there is not option that how much change anything is not they make it a little sophisticated but just try it the next one is x-res x-res or speckle is the same as the speckle uh, reduction that in different machine and vendor they maybe you use different uh, abbreviation you scan all those stuff that you see that is generally a speckle reduction in the speckle reduction machine eliminate those weak echo that come to the probe so it make it a little more smooth uh, that is the general function the generally the best option better resolution for a speckle reduction is between two and three again again we have to practice and see N rarely we turn it off it should be between two and three is the best but again based on the quality of your image your depth of win uh, depth of your image and structure you see you should play and see which one is to give you better smoother image the drawbacks of this parameter is if we increase too much the frame rate generally decrease and uh, not only that the the image become a little crumble paper it looks like you crumble a crumple a paper it looks like that so two or three is the best don't forget play with this one too and see which one give you the best option next step for optimizing 2d image is gain power zoom and persistence now let's see how we optimize based on those uh, options as you know we have two type of the option for increasing the power of the sound came back from the tissue we called it gain we can increase gain in two ways one of them is tgc that we can increase the gain in different level of the image it has knobs you can see from top to bottom we can increase to the right or decrease uh, the gain or in other words increase or amplify our sound come back to transducer another one is the 2d uh, knob that we twisting clockwise increased and twisting counterclockwise decreased the difference between these two both of the uh, both of them are the same function meaning increasing the gain and energy of the sound came back to the transducer on the 2d gain it increased all area from top to bottom in all places the same amount increase but on tgc depending which level we increase that level will be amplified this is difference between the, these two tgc or dgc depth 
compensation uh, gain compensation or time compensation gain gain compensation another here we have a zoom bottom here this bottom has two functions one of them without pressing just twisting clockwise or contact clockwise it magnify the image resolution doesn't improve just magnifying in another word resolution a little decrease but with the zoom we if we press the bottom it gives us one uh, roi region of the interest trapezoid shape that with these two uh, select bottom at next to the trackball we can change the size and with trackball we can change the location when uh, after we select the area you want to zoom on it you press the zoom button again and it not only magnify and make it bigger it improve the resolution too so that is different between magnifying and zooming here just uh, i have to remind you those two knobs depth and focus is critical in all study we have to scan shallowest and our focus should be exactly at the level of the interest area a little lower a few centimeter lower that is the most fundamental uh, technique for scanning at the first thing when we scan uh, first we fix it depth and focus then we go do other changes that I mentioned up to here after those we have three other options for optimizing image first 2d opt or optimizing then we have speed and resolution option and another is compression later we go for the power and persistence now let's focus on this 2d opt this uh, option below that has a knob here if you twist it clockwise or contact clockwise it's changed between the res h as you can see is harmonic general gen stand for general harmonic general h r stand for harmonic resolution and h p stand for harmonic penetration so if we need penetration more we change it to the h p if we average we don't need too much we want to improve uh, image all of it we just select h gen and if we selected uh, r we increased and improved resolution that is very important and try in all images start with the gen and if you need it change to the resolution or penetration depending of the which area you are the uh, scanning depth of your study and resolution so you have to be playing you have to play with this knob after that we have another knob has two states one of them is increasing frame rate another is middle between them and the other one is increasing resolution again depending what our goal in that specific view is we can change it to the resolution speed or between them and the most important part that many tech forget is compression or dynamic range in epic 50 to 55 is the best range of the compression or dynamic range you can decrease a little come sometime depending on the image 48 49 50 50 around 50 is the best time but again this frame uh, this uh, compression or dynamic range it depending of your images if it's too much bright too much uh, hazy and noise in that background you can decrease your compression make it a little black black and white but not too much because i notice most of the tech they prefer see the cardiac chamber as a black completely that is not maybe it's very beautiful it looks beautiful but 
in that case you can miss those hypoecho structure especially those hypoecho like that vegetation or early stage of the blood clot forming in cardiac cavity so not too much black and white not too much bright something between them that you see endocardium a little noise inside of the chamber that's fine you don't need to make it completely black so compression is very important don't forget it after that compression we have persistence persistence usually is on the third page you have to sweep it go to the third page and general rules that we in the echo we use it low maximum to mod moderate persistence but in pediatric we use low or zero we turn it off because the uh, withdraw drawback of the persistence is dropping frame rate so in pediatric and or in those cases that heart rate is very high we better turn off the persistence and the last one is output power usually in most uh, machine that has been set up this output power option is at the third page you have to twist it but below you can see it the differences between power and gain is that those gain TGC and 2D gain they amplify and increase the energy of the sound come back to the transducer but in this option it increased the sound has been sent to the tissue so that is difference between those two so mechanical index in that case when we increase output increase so those in cases that you don't uh, you don't need low ti for example for the pediatric slope or pregnancy we should lose uh, in those cases we should uh, use lower output power in other cases especially those challenging patient that has poor uh, penetration we can use as a last option increase our output power crank it up up to the maximum the only problem with this option is that it increased the artifact related and dependent to the power that I talked to I talk in the artifact in detail you can go and check it out so that is all those important uh, uh, option that we have for optimizing another one is auto scanned offset usually we don't touch it just give it a shot I try it I didn't see too much differences a little change usually we don't just give it a shot and see how much changes sometime it help improving image I want to mention here if you play with many of those options and you are completely confused and lost and you don't know where what did you change how you change go back don't worry just press I scan here most of those changes go back to the default at the beginning if not just go to the press the probe and select those setup that you used it at the beginning you press that setup everything goes back to that uh, point uh, from the beginning so don't worry play with those stuff those parameter factor all those options you have play with all of them if you completely lost press i scan or go back protocol not protocol probe and use your press set whatever you use you want to use it another important parameter that we uh, for optimizing image we use it is sector width usually is on the second page but it can be dependent how they opt, uh, set it up you can find it in different pages but it's still on the 2d here is you can see sector width and the, below the knob uh, there is a knob you can select that one and make your sector wide or narrower 
generally for those sophisticated that we need high frame rate and more detail especially for valvular and regurgitation stenosis vegetation any structure that we need high frame rate uh, using narrower sector is much better but don't go too much narrow especially uh, for example, if you are going to check on the mitral valve, don't make it too much narrow just showing mitral valve. No, show a little beyond that. So not too much narrow, not too much wide, especially for those structure. Here, uh, you have to know that how those changes, you can see those changes in the monitor. On the monitor, as you can see here, we have many numbers and abbreviation is that they represent all those changes we have done most of them for example here we know the probe the frame rate the depth of the, our study here we have 2d we have gained 61 person or gain that 2d gain we did it and we have compression c for compression p is low persistence is low that usually we use low not too much high and those uh, to the opt here is high gen general or harmonic general not high sorry h g gen harmonic general and here you can see those harmonic uh, harmonic general on the mark circle by the here g if we change it to the r it show circle around r it represent what frequency you are using here is the range of the harmonic frequency between 1.3 to 2.6 megahertz so when you change it to this is using this frequency if you change it to the p it use around 1.3 megahertz there are other options that we can use it sometimes depending on how the machine has been set up uh, one of them is auto scan another is elevational compounding this elevational compounding improve uh, slice or thickness artifact that i explained to another lecture an auto scan is improve everything together adjust all those x resolution gray scale uh, map all those uh, imaging uh, even the frequency change just give it a shot and try and see if how much it changed so the, as you notice there are a lot of options for optimizing and most of the time we have to uh, play with them and finally we come to some good setup our uh, machine that the study when we find that one we thought that is the best for general when we are going to start scanning we can save it whatever we did about the how long of the the type of the saving ekg all those images sector depth default everything we can save it for next study we can use that setup how we use it we go to the utility we press customizing and then it give us option save preset press this save preset preset sorry then it give you an option and it ask you uh, put a name and put the name that you remember then close it next time when you uh, press the probe and you can see those uh, pre preset that you have it then you select it and start that is the best way uh, we are done on the 2d uh, nobology of the 2d how optimizing how we play with those options in next clip i try to uh, cover all the others including color doppler spectral doppler m mode and tdi i hope i can finish it in one lecture then after that we go for the uh, strain then we go for t 
TEE those nobology stress echo and then finally 3D I hope it was useful don't forget share it and don't forget your comment and if you have any question up to the next time have a wonderful time